Welcome into the Chile Law Review. My name is Ben Burnett. My guest today is Bob Chile, the founder of the Chile Law Group. Bob, how are you? Doing great. Bob, I want to ask you about new business and new clients. How do you attract new people when they have a hardship or a situation to your firm? Ben, dating back to the early 80s when I got out of University of Georgia, when I went in with my dad, he was a he practiced for dating back to 1952 in Buford, Gwinnett County. And he, uh, he was one of a, maybe four attorneys that people knew. And so people would come see him when they had a, a legal matter. He got to be so busy. Uh, by the time I graduated law school, he didn't have time to handle the personal injury cases. So I kind of took those over and began to, uh, that's how I got my teeth on it. Learned to try them and learned to get good results for my clients. With the favor of the Lord, I'm still getting a, a, the majority of my cases that way through word of mouth, uh, people that know me. A lawyer's best calling card is uh, by the people that know you and know your character, that also know, can look at the results that you've obtained. Those are the best form of advertising a person can have is getting results um, before a jury. And uh, because people hear about those results and, and they know that you're capable of going the distance and if that's what's required uh, to get justice. Talk about your involvement in the metro Atlanta region, in the state of Georgia, in building those relationships. Well, I think it's important for young attorneys who want to do a plaintiff's practice to understand that uh, they need to be known in their community. And it, but in a city the size of Atlanta, it's hard to be known because there's so many voices competing for the same business. It's important to, to be involved in your community, your neighborhood, uh, let people know what you do. It's important to be involved in, personally, I think, for the, I'm involved in my church, um, and it's, you know, there's several thousands of members, and so your name gets spread around, and you'll get business that way, too. You know, there's other organizations that people can be involved in, but I think it's important to be involved in serving others outside of the, your law practice, uh, helping others, um, even if they don't have a, a legal matter. You're there to be a, a servant leader. And I think people look up to people like that, and they're attracted to people like that. So that's what I try to do. And I try to teach the other young attorneys in my firm uh, to do the same thing. Talk about the character piece that often gets overlooked. You've done this for four decades. I don't know anybody who has anything bad to say about you. And I'm sure that there have been plenty of opportunities for you to cut corners, to arrive at a certain outcome probably sooner than you did. Well, for one, I'm a Christian, um, and I profess Christ as my Lord and Savior, and and, uh, he calls on me to follow him and to abide by the golden rule and uh, treat others the way I want to be treated. It's a pure... It's a really simple concept, and I've gotten cases where the client interviewed other attorneys, and they were really just not comfortable uh, with what that other attorney's uh, character was about. And so whenever I meet with somebody, I just try to understand and empathize what they're going through, first and foremost, rather than talking about myself. I try to, uh, to just walk humbly, and uh, it's worked well for me. I know that when you say something, you mean it. And I think that you're, as long as I've known you, your opinion on something, it's not that you can't be persuadable. It is that if you tell somebody something in fact or conviction, you're 100% right. And I think that there is an immense amount of confidence that I would have, and I hope I am never in a situation where I need you, but I would know that if you told me something, that I was getting the truth. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it just comes from uh, my upbringing, my parents' uh, told me that uh, my word is my bond and that uh, always put others uh, and consider others as being uh, more worthy uh, than I am. Uh, Also, take the wisdom that you obtain over the course of your life and use it to help others. Um, I feel like I'm called by God to be a a trial attorney and to go to to war if necessary, go to bat for my clients. And so... uh, I think a lot of my wisdom comes uh, as inspiration from, from my creator. It's great to talk to you today, Bob. This has been another episode of the Chili Law Review. Have a great day, everybody.